Hello guys, today let's derive the equation for head loss due to friction or Darcy's wheel bash equation. Now let us consider a uniform pipe. When I talk about uniformity, it's about the area. Area of the pipe is constant throughout. Okay, and let us consider two sections over here. Section 1 and Section 2. Okay, so the fluid is flowing from here and exits from here. Okay, yeah, and we have pressure intensity of, of fluid at inlet and pressure int intensity at outlet P1 and P2. Okay, yeah. And as the fluid flows through the pipe, this layer of fluid and the surface of the pipe, there exists a friction between them. It's F1 and F1. The friction is through the same throughout because the material of the pipe is same and even the fluid is also same. Okay. Great. Now let us consider its length is L. Yeah. Now write in the Bernoulli's equation for both the sections. First pressure intensity P1 by rho g plus next velocity V1 square by 2g plus Z1 is equal to at section 2 P2 by rho g plus velocity at section 2 is V2 let us consider it by 2g plus Z2. <coughs> now since the area is same velocity can change right so we can cancel these two and now yeah let us consider this at a datum height and both the sections are at same height right so we can even cancel this potential head actually here we'll getting a we'll be getting a hf it is a friction factor I'm sorry it's head loss due to friction yeah plus hf now we can write hf equal to p1 minus p2 by rho g right so all the loss we get in this pipe is just because of this friction and the loss we can see in the pressures just keep it aside okay or you can write it as p1 minus p2 equal to hf rho g Let's keep it aside. We will come back to it. <coughs> now, now we have to calculate the friction resistance. <coughs> friction resistance is equal to frictional resistance per unit wetted area per unit velocity into wetted area into velocity square here the wetted area is the inner area of this pipe okay pi d into this l okay we get the inner surface area it is the wetted area because you from there the fluid is flowing now so it will be, it will be the area that gets wet okay so that's it now friction resistance we call it as f1 and friction resistance per unit weight area per unit velocity we call it f prime <coughs> into pi into the diameter the diameter is d and the length is l <coughs> into l okay into this velocity square velocity is v as it is constant at inlet and outlet v1 equal to v v2 equal to v okay so v square this whole is f prime this is the wetted area this and velocity square okay yeah now we can write f prime into pi d pi d is the perimeter now so p into l into v square f1 equal to <coughs> okay now let's keep it aside <coughs> excuse me and now come back to the pipe yeah, and now here we will apply the equilibrium condition 
all the forces acting in the right side must be equal to the forces acting in the left so p1 is acting to the right it must be equal to sum of f and p2 right <coughs> yeah actually p, p is the pressure we need force we know that pressure equal to force by area right here from here force equal to pressure into area just remember this okay hmm. apply it force caused due to p1 is p1 into a1 okay minus it is to the right and these are to the left h1 is positive and these are these two are negative minus p2 into a2 minus f1 equal to 0 here a1 equal to a2 right because it is a pipe of uniform cross section so p1 a minus p2 a minus f1 equal to 0 <coughs> I don't take common equal to f1 by a okay now we need f1 we have already done f1's value so it is equal to p1 minus p2 is equal to what is f1 f prime pl v square so f prime p into l into v square divided by a okay so we what do you have here p1 minus p2 at the very beginning we have derived it for its, its equation right p1 minus p2 equal to hf into rho g just put it over here hf into rho g equal to f bar f prime into p into l into v square by a now it's all a matter of simplification <coughs> hmm. now here we need f1 right hf right so keep hf over here and take everything to the right into p into l into v square by rho g into a okay <coughs> great now you know p is the perimeter f prime into perimeter what is perimeter pi into d into l into v square divided by rho g into what is the area pi by 4 d square pi by 4 d square pi pi goes 1d 1d goes so at last we have what do we have 4 f prime l v square by rho g d <coughs> okay and now we write this value f prime by rho is equal to f by 2 where f is called the coefficient of friction it's a generalized formula so just remember it okay so equal to 4 f by 2 into lv squared by gd right equal to 2 fl v squared by 2 i mean just gd okay what is this hf hf equal to 2 fl v squared by 2 gd and this is the Darcy's Binchbach equation. Just so simple, right? Start with the Bernoulli theorem and the frictional resistance and just simplify. Okay.